Hey folks, <clears throat> Ocean here with Galveston Kayak Outfitters. Uh, here at the lovely kind of Moody Gardens Pyramid and hanging out here off Let's Bayou by the Colonel the Paddle Wheel. Um, Anyway, finally gotten around or got around to doing this video of the um, earlier pescadors, the uh, models prior to 2018. I've got a 2016 model, like a 2013 model. Um, these kayaks are, are nice little finds uh, for those getting into kayaking on a budget. Uh, usually Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace or um, whatever kind of secondhand uh, used uh, equipment form you find your gear at. Uh, they can usually be found uh, relatively inexpensively um, off-season. If you're lucky you can find them around the two, three hundred dollar range during the season. Uh, maybe up to $400, maybe $500, depending on what gear has been added to them. Typically, this is a, um, a kayak that's being sold once a, a fisherman or um, is upgraded to another kayak, and uh, or uh, maybe someone who got into kayaking and found it wasn't quite their, uh, their cup of tea. But... Um, Anyway, these are great finds uh, on the on the net. Great boat still, a little bit narrower than the 2018 model, and I cover that what the uh, improvements have been and the changes to the 2018. But this video is going to be about uh, two of the models prior to 2018, and uh, again, a great all-around kayak, 12 foot long, definitely uh, capable of uh, being a fishing kayak as well as uh, recreation uh, near coastal lakes, some rivers, slow moving rivers, in my opinion anyway. So anyway, let's get to it. Thanks for stopping by. Okay folks, a quick little side by side of the 2016, the orange, and yellow and red one. And then about 2013, uh, Pescador 12s. Um, essentially, up on the bow, they're just about the same. In fact, they are the same. They've got just the nylon and uh, plastic handles. Uh, the boot um, for the forward hatch. Same kind of adjustable foot pegs. Um, inexpensive ones that little midships hatch this one right here I changed out to a four inch watertight um, this one had the boot right there or has the boot the other one had it as well but I removed that same seats with the exception of this one here has these little um, plastic little handles at the end to, for the adjustment whereas over here all they really did was uh, can't really see it, but they just folded back and uh, just sewed, sewed it um, so it wouldn't come undone. Same kind of adjustable seats. Uh, this one, though, only has the one rod holder, and it came with the plug on it. Uh, it did have uh, some bungee there, but I switched over to unfortunately a little bit of a rat's nest of um, of rope um, other than that up on the uh, 2016 model uh, they did include uh, this additional rod holder and they do point towards the rear which is nice the newer ones to that at 2018 uh, they're molded in here this hatch is gone but they're molded in here straight up, which is not the best orientation, but you know, 
this still has uh, this model still has uh, the bungee and then the uh, both of them have the nylon and rubber or plastic handles um, things you want to look for if you're buying one of these used is you know look at the condition of this rear keel here uh, make sure it's not too worn through it can be dealt with if it is worn through you can actually weld this plastic this is the HB or HDPE high density polyethylene um, these still come with the um, ability to add a rudder um, those run about I think about 200 bucks as of uh, this filming or video other than that um, you know take a look at the condition how worn out this one's a little bit worn um, these clips break a lot so I just tied this off and this bungee is kind of stretched out but this pad can be replaced you know check to see if uh, these uh, these screws haven't really pulled through these seats uh, oop, these seats can be or the cushions can be replaced either with the actual um, original ones or you can just make one out of uh, um, EVA foam the other thing to look for you know is up here on the bow how worn out this area is how much this has been scraped across the ground and how thin this is again this can be repaired with uh, some plastic welding you know um, I think it's highly unlikely but inside these scuppers it could be split but I don't really I've never really heard of that other than if they originally came from the manufacturer that way but that's pretty unlikely and uh, again these hatches right here open up and uh, they do a pretty good job they're waterproof they're probably not watertight but and then it goes all the way down but a departure from the um, 2018s is that you can access here. This model actually had like a little bag that was in there. Uh, this one didn't come with one, but I don't know if it was originally on there because I bought this one used. Uh, but these open up. And, um, and then, of course, back here behind the seat is another one. Um, there is an indentation here for a bucket. And, uh, and also an indentation here uh, for a milk crate uh, to fit in there. But anyway, you know, these are great, great finds on Craigslist and such. Uh, great boats. Um, they're narrow, n more narrow. Uh, I think they come in at about um, 30 inches wide, 29 inches wide. 12 feet long they track very well um, because of their narrow uh, breath they do a really good job of tracking straight when you're pa uh, paddling as well as uh, maintaining speed compared to the newer ones but that's kind of the trade-off and um, yeah if you can lasso one of these for the two or three hundred dollar range which is about 150 to two to three hundred dollars off of their original uh, brand new price. Um, they're pretty good deals. Again, you know, looking to see what kind of condition, looking to see what kind of additions were made to them by the owners, and whether or not it was professionally done or they did it. You know, most of this stuff can be fixed if it wasn't done properly. And uh, yeah, these are the older pescadors. You know, of course, there's earlier models. Some of the earlier models had um, molded in feet positions. Those are some of the really earlier ones. And uh, you can kind of tell a little bit from pictures as to what font they used uh, for the word Pescador. Some of the earlier ones had more of a Comic Sans. And then the newer ones just say Perception. These are the Perception Sport. This is kind of the lower end of the uh, uh, perception brand which is the confluence or the parent company is confluence and they they 
and this is basically a uh, tarpon an old uh, the older version of their the tarpon 12 and uh, but good boats really good kayaks I'm sinking in the mud here so sorry for the wobbly thing but anyway out here on a beautiful night gonna see if I can uh, core some of these redfish into these boats but you know this is why we do it this is why I do it the fishing's nice but you know, there's nothing like big sky calm winds and nothing to do but just soak it all in Anyway, folks, um, damn, son of a bitch. <laughs> Oops, I just got demonetized. <laughs> uh, yeah, thanks for stopping by. You know, just a 10 minute video about uh, these uh, kind of little gems you can find on Craigslist and, and such. And, uh, get into the sport definitely worth spending the extra bucks if you get something like this used and getting any of the lower end pelican or uh, vacuum molded plastic kind of things that you're really just not going to be happy with or uh, even use the, these kayaks are better than those so as always thank you much gratitude thanks for stopping by get wet be safe and have fun. Ocean out. Peace.